tarot cards have captivated people for centuries, offering a glimpse into the hidden realms of our subconscious. Contrary to popular belief, tarot cards are not tools for predicting the future. Instead, they serve as a mirror, reflecting our current state of being, our thoughts, feelings, and potential paths. Each card in a tarot deck is imbued with symbolism and meaning, acting as a key to unlock the mysteries within ourselves and the world around us. By understanding the messages conveyed through the cards, we can gain valuable insights into our lives, relationships and personal growth. Tarot encourages us to connect with our intuition and embrace the transformative power of self-discovery. From its rich history to the interpretation of individual cards, we will delve into the fascinating world of tarot and explore how it can enrich your life. The origins of tarot cards are shrouded in mystery and speculation. Historical evidence suggests that tarot cards first appeared in Europe during the 15th century. Contrary to popular belief, these early decks were not initially used for divination or occult practices. The earliest tarot decks, such as the Visconti Sforza deck, were primarily used for playing card games among the Italian nobility. It was not until the late 18th century that tarot cards began to be associated with esotericism and divination. Occultists like Antoine Court de Gébelin and Etaila recognized the symbolic potential of the cards and developed systems for using them as tools for self-discovery and spiritual exploration. The 19th and 20th centuries witnessed a surge in interest in tarot, with the publication of influential decks like the Rider Waite Smith deck and the Thoth deck. A standard tarot deck consists of 78 cards divided into the major arcana and the minor arcana. The major arcana comprises 22 cards, each representing significant archetypes or life lessons. The minor arcana consists of 56 cards divided into four suits, wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. The major arcana cards are the most recognizable and perhaps the most powerful cards in the tarot deck. Each card depicts a significant archetype or universal symbol that resonates with the human experience. For example, the magician represents manifestation and the power of our will, while the high priestess embodies intuition and inner wisdom. The empress symbolizes abundance and nurturing, while the emperor signifies structure and authority. The Fool's journey begins with the Fool, representing innocence and the start of a new cycle. As the Fool progresses through the major arcana, he encounters various challenges and lessons, symbolized by cards like the Lovers, representing choices and relationships, and Strength, signifying courage and resilience. The journey culminates with the World, representing completion, fulfillment, and the integration of all that has been learned along the way. By understanding the archetypes and lessons represented by the major arcana, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the grand tapestry of life. While the major arcana cards represent significant life lessons and archetypes, the minor arcana cards deal with practical, everyday aspects of our lives. These cards reflect our thoughts, feelings, relationships, work and daily challenges. Each suit in the minor arcana represents a specific area of life. Wands symbolize creativity and ambition. Cups represent emotions and relationships. Swords signify thoughts and communication. Pentacles embody material wealth and practicality. Now that you have a basic understanding of the tarot, you might be eager to try a reading. Here's a simple guide to your first tarot reading. First, find a quiet space to focus. Hold your deck, breathe deeply and set your intention. 
Shuffle the cards thoroughly. Cut the deck into three piles and reassemble. Start with a simple three card spread. This can represent past, present and future. Turn over each card and observe the imagery and symbolism. Interpreting tarot cards is an art that involves both intuition and knowledge. While guidebooks and resources can be helpful, the most important aspect of interpretation is to trust your intuition and allow the cards to speak to you in a way that resonates with your personal experience. When interpreting a card, start by observing the imagery. What symbols, colors or characters stand out to you? What emotions or feelings does the card evoke? Consider the card's traditional meaning in relation to your question or the position it occupies in the spread. For example, if you draw the tower card in a reading about your career, it could indicate a sudden change or upheaval in your professional life. However, it's important to remember that the meaning of the card can vary depending on the context of the reading and the other cards surrounding it. The more you practice interpreting the cards, the more confident you will become in your ability to decipher their messages. Once you feel comfortable with the basics of tarot card reading, you can explore different spreads and techniques to gain deeper insights into your life and the world around you. There are countless tarot spreads available, each designed to address specific questions or areas of life. Some popular spreads include the Celtic Cross Spread, which provides a comprehensive overview of a situation, the Relationship Spread, which explores the dynamics between two people, and the Career Spread, which offers guidance on professional matters. In addition to spreads, there are various techniques you can use to enhance your tarot readings. One technique is to incorporate crystals, herbs, or other divination tools into your practice. Another technique is to keep a tarot journal to track your readings, insights, and personal growth. Remember that tarot is a personal journey of self-discovery, and there is no right or wrong way to approach it. If you're eager to delve deeper into the world of tarot, there are numerous resources available to support your journey. Books, websites, online courses and local workshops can provide valuable insights, guidance and community. Some recommended books for beginners include Tarot for Yourself by Mary Kay Greer, 78 Degrees of Wisdom by Rachel Pollock and The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever by Dusty White. These books offer comprehensive introductions to the tarot, covering everything from basic card meanings to advanced spreads and techniques. Online resources such as Biddy Tarot and The Tarot Lady offer a wealth of information, including card meanings, spreads, articles and podcasts. Local metaphysical shops and spiritual centers often host tarot workshops and classes where you can connect with other enthusiasts and learn from experienced readers. Tarot cards offer a powerful tool for self-discovery, personal growth and spiritual exploration. By learning the language of the tarot, we can tap into our intuition, gain clarity on our life's path and make conscious choices that align with our highest good. Remember that tarot is not about predicting the future, but rather about understanding the present and the potential that lies within. The cards serve as a mirror reflecting our thoughts, feelings, and the energies surrounding us. By interpreting their messages, we can gain valuable insights into ourselves and the world around us. Allow the wisdom of the tarot to guide you, empower you, and illuminate your path toward a more fulfilling and meaningful